Crash cymbals are a very important part of a drummer's setup. Again, there's a huge variety that you can choose from, different sizes, different thicknesses, but again, it always comes back to what kind of music are you going to be playing. The sound here is uh, it's an 18-inch crash cymbal, big sound, and uh, I guess if I were to get uh, one cymbal, it would probably be uh, an 18-inch crash because uh, it will support, again, a large ensemble or it will support a rock band setting. If you get down into the smaller cymbals, they don't give you the support that you might want. Um, but I do want to caution you about something. Um, if you choke down on the cymbal, you put the washer in and, you, uh, and the felt and you bring it all down, you really can affect the cymbal. Here is the cymbal that is really kind of free to, to resonate now. Good full bodied sound. You saw that the cymbal was free to, to move and to vibrate. If I were to clamp down on this, which a lot of young players tend to do, then the cymbal sounds like this. Not at all the same. So this is an 18. Let's go down in size to a 16. This is a 16 inch. It's rather thin, but it's a different sound. When used with an 18, it's kind of a nice contrast. So ideally, your cymbal setup should eventually have kind of a large crash, a beefy crash, anywhere from 17 to 19, even 20, uh, and then a smaller crash, like 15, 16, somewhere in there. So used together, they sound kind of nice. Let's get a little smaller. Here's a 14 inch crash. Again, it's pretty thin. Oftentimes with these small cymbals, again, players tend to really crank down because they move quite a bit. So you can really ruin a, a small cymbal sound. Now it's starting to open up pretty nice. So just with this setup, we have three pretty different sounds. There's one other option that I want to share with you. Uh, the concept is a symbol that you can crash on and ride on. I like this kind of symbol because you get kind of double your money. And again, if you're on a tight budget, this might be the way to go. This is an 18 crash ride, and you can definitely ride on it like our ride symbol. You get good stick sound. We really, we can ride on this over here, but it's not designed that way, so it doesn't have the clarity that this had. This is a lot better, but yet yeah, we can crash it. Nice big sound. So the crash ride symbol has really a, a dual purpose. So uh, I like this as a way to go, certainly in the beginning stages. So with your crash symbols, again, listen to uh, listen and experiment a lot with the sound of the cymbal in terms of the sizes and the, the thicknesses because that really determines everything. Start perhaps with an 18, either a crash ride or just a good solid 18 inch crash cymbal. Uh, not too heavy, uh, maybe medium thin. And then start expanding your setup 
to some color symbols like the splashes and the 14s, the smaller symbols, that really starts to uh, open up your sound palette and give you a personality. A lot of the, uh, the real favorite drummers out there, their symbols are their personalities and they have color symbols like you know, little 8 inch splashes, they have chinas, all sorts of things, flat rides, um, monster crashes, uh, you know, a whole variety of symbols, and that's really your personality. So pay close attention to picking symbols and, again, decide on the music that you're playing and will that symbol serve the music.